relax. Katie, you're doing a good thing. Then why do I feel terrible? Henry is my best friend in the world. He would do anything for me. And I can't get behind this stupid engagement and be happy for him. I mean, what does it matter if the girl he wants to marry... Loves him? I'm not so sure she does. She's a self-centered, shallow, okay, yes, gorgeous millionaire. She could have anyone. And probably has. Yeah, right. So she wouldn't appreciate him, and he's very sensitive. So it's Henry that you're worried about? Of course. Okay, I'm worried about me a little bit, too. Henry is my best friend. I mean, he, he's always been there for me. What if she takes him off to some exotic locale and he'll just belly up to a craps table and never see him again? You'll see him? It's not going to be the same. What will I do if I need him? All right, I know that this sounds selfish and he needs more life than to be my go-to guy. Yeah, and obviously you need more than Henry or you'd still be married to him. Good point. Thank you. So, if Vienna makes him happy, I guess I'll just have to accept it. Of course, I want Henry to be happy, but does it have to be with Vienna? What are you talking about? She's perfect for him. I'm serious. Hey, like it or not, Henry is a party animal. He's always at a bar or nightclub or at the track, and he's never really held a, a real job or had a career besides... Resident card shark, and she's rich, so she can foot the bills and share his bar stool. She loves that. The nightlife, getting dressed up, going out, making the scene. Remind me again why you're my friend? <laughs> no, you're right. It's just hard. I know. So you're at peace with everything? With Carly out there robbing banks with Simon or whatever the hell? Well, they're I hope they're not robbing banks, Katie. And no, I'm not at peace with any of it. I'm sorry, that's not fair. Ugh, I can't even think of Mike with someone else without getting sick. Yeah. All right, what am I doing? I, I should be helping Henry with this wedding. I should be out buying bunting. Bunting? No, you're right. First things first. We don't even know where we're having this wedding. Well, the, the farm, I thought. Yeah, I know, but where? The, the orchard, the barn, the parlor? <laughs> Since I know the layout... <clears throat> How about we go grab a bite? We can talk about it. Al's? We're getting two sides of fries this time. Oh, what kind of friendship is this going to be? <laughs> You're not even going to let me have my illusions? Just the ones that work for me? Yeah, like you and me planning a wedding when neither <laughs> of us have ever had a successful one. Hey, I'm great at weddings. Charlie and I, we walked down the aisle. or we tried to how many times? Yeah, I forget. me too. No more talk about exes, though. Deal. Okay? Yeah. Just, um, cakes, candles, and caterers. Okay, Katie. Carry on. Uh, yeah. I will have the chef salad. Dressing on the side? Yes, please. Thank you. Burger, medium, two orders of fries. You say two orders. Of fries, yeah. I'm hungry. You got it. Thank you. Such a gentleman. Yeah, that's me. So how many people do you think are going to be invited to this wedding? Well, you were at the party with you the other night. So we're talking you, me, and Brad? <laughs> that would be sad. Yeah, right. No, I think a few more people. I'm sure Maddie and maybe Casey, <clears throat> Tom, Margo, Emma, Lisa. A dozen people, give or take. So we can have it just about any place. Yeah, I was thinking the barn, maybe. maybe well, kind of clean. get in the barn. I mean, it's, it's clean and everything, but it's got a strong sense of horse. I remember when Carly and I got married in Montana. No, ah, 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 no, no, no. No talk about exes, remember. Sorry? Sorry, I was just remembering the barn smell, a rather pungent smell. Not that anybody cared, but the animite. Yeah, the animite. <laughs> Henry! Henry! You okay? Hey, sorry, I didn't, didn't see you guys over there. What's going on? Do, why don't you come join us? I don't want to rain on your parade. What happened, Henry? to give Vienna the ring we picked out? Yeah, that was the plan. So what happened? Uh, what happened is I went home and found her in bed with Brad. What? what? Yeah, so it just sort of sucked the air out of the old balloon, you know? Oh, Henry, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Don't be. It's for the best. Um, I, I don't know who I'm kidding. I can't keep a woman like Vienna happy. So I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead.
What exactly happened? You went to buy the end of the ring, you came back, and she and Brad... We're in bed together. Oh. I cannot believe he would go after your fiancé like that. That is just so... Brad. Yeah. It is him. D d are you sure that Vienna was buying what he was... What he was selling? Yes, yeah, she said that nothing happened and that she just tripped and he happened to fall on her. <laughs> it's classic Brad, though. You can't, you've got to believe her. It, it doesn't matter what happened or didn't happen, okay? The, the fact is, I am no match for the Brads of this world. Oh, come on, Henry. You're a million times better than Brad Snyder. But you may think that, and Vienna may even think that, but what about the Brads that are CEOs or, or making movies or don't have to work at all? Better yet, I, I can't compete with that. She loves you. You love me too, and look how that turned out. That was different, and mm. I still love you. Yeah, just not that way. Look, here's look, this is what I learned from you, okay? I am a girl's best friend. And and that is not gonna satisfy a woman like Vienna. Sooner or later, someone like Brad is just gonna come along. And she will be smart enough to kick into the curb. I know you've had your share of disappointments, Henry. <sighs> And it's made you a little gun-shy, but, but Vienna's all over you all the time. Okay, I can let her have her way with me as long as it lasts, but it won't. Brad proved that. Oh, this is all my fault. I was giving Brad a hard time at the studio today. He kept going on and on about how he was irresistible, and I said that Vienna had no problem resisting him. Like waving a red cape in front of a bull. Exactly. So he started saying that he could get her back anytime he wanted. Oh. It is all my fault. I goaded him no, into doing you this. You are to not you. to blame for my brother being a jerk. Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Yeah, what, what are we doing? Wait, you're not going to stay? Any? No, I got to go take care of a little something. I wouldn't worry about Brad, Henry. He's not going to be a problem. Oh, don't worry, Brad. Makeup people here have plenty of experience with shiners. And if they can't cover it up, I'll just go solo. Ice! I need some... I need some ice! You... I did my part. And Henry's on his way over to make up with Fina. Outstanding. <laughs>